वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज प्रोस्पेरिटी पार्टी हैज एक्सपेल थाउजेंड ऑफ इट्स मेंबर्स पी एम आर बी कन्फर्म दैट फ्यू आवर्स अगो वाइल अटेंडिंग अ मीटिंग अ पार्टी सेंट्रल कमिटी हाउ मैनी आर द टोटल मेंबर्स ऑफ पी पी वाई वर थाउजेंड ऑफ प्रोस्पेरिटी पार्टी मेंबर्स एक्सपेल्ड डिटेल फॉर यू सेकेंडली Gatha Choreda held a meeting uh, with Mike Hammer uh, US special envoy who visited Macale today and Gatha Cho after that uh, issued a message social media message and the message failed to mention accountability for war crimes need for investigations into war crimes what did he say Did he say anything about investigation into aid theft? Has the investigation been finalized? Who are the perpetrators? What did he say? And lastly, Mustafa Omar, Somali region's president, today defended PM Abi. PM Abi's government, Prosperity Party government, is also PP leader, leading PP in the Somali region. He made a claim today. He's a Muslim, by the way. Somali region is a Muslim majority region. We know that Muslims were killed. Nine Muslims were killed in Addis Ababa in the last ten days. Uh, on two consecutive Fridays, the security forces opened fire at Muslims in Addis Ababa. Uh, Mustafa Omar did not condemn the attack on Muslims. Uh, rather, he tried to claim that uh, PM Abi's government is the best government for Muslims in Ethiopian history. Firstly. Uh, Prosperity Party was is holding uh, its central committee's meeting. More than three years ago, the party uh, came into existence. Uh, it was formed by uh, leaders from Oromia, Amhara, other parts of uh, Ethiopia. Mainly, uh, Oromo Amhara leaders are part of Prosperity Party. But obviously, party has other leaders too, like in Somai region, Muslims, Afars too. uh in bg as well uh, so the party uh, has presence uh, across ethiopia ruling party uh, the party was formed after disintegration of eprdf party is holding its central committee meeting uh, pmr is the chairman of the party deputy chairman two deputy chairman adam fara a somali and uh, damak and mekonon and amhara pmrb addressing central committee members to declare that pp has now 13.5 million members and prosperity party is the biggest party in africa interestingly he confirmed that tens of thousands of prosperity party members have been expelled when in the last uh, few months last 8 to 10 months why were they expelled in which regions were they expelled no details he just said that uh, some infiltrators were trying uh, to uh, pollute the party so there was need for uh purging the party the party has been purged no detail shared in which region party members were expelled but if you remember uh, i think i reported more than a month ago that uh, prosperity party leadership is not happy with uh, lower rank officials of the party especially in the amhara region in oromia as well in oromia lower uh, rank pp members are accused of supporting ola in amhara lower uh, rank uh, party members are accused of supporting amhara hardliners so so that is why the party took action it has now expelled tens of thousands of party members mostly in amhara 
and in Oromia regions. But details have not been shared by the party so far. That just shows that there are splits within the party. No top leaders expelled so far. Top leaders have been sidelined a little, like uh, Gaidu and the Gacho, uh, and that uh, Oromo guy, Umma uh, Bati, Bati Umma Minister of Mines, former Minister of Mines. So some PP leaders sidelined. We cannot say expelled. PMRB said expelled. It means those who have been expelled are mainly lower rank party members. Does the party have this much strength? 13.5 million members? Well, it's just a number. Uh, who can verify this number? And basically, politics in Ethiopia is all about ruling party. Opposition parties are not allowed to carry out uh, uh, political activities and for survival people have to support ruling party those who support ruling party they are seen as members of the party secondly viewers uh, Mike Hammer your special envoy was in Macale today he is in uh, Ethiopia these days uh, uh, monitoring the implementation of Pretoria deal and uh, he visited Tegarai he met with uh, Getacho uh, people are sharing pictures saying, saying that uh, Ethiopian flag was missing from the meeting venue between Mike Hammer and Tigray government delegation. Uh, after this meeting, Gadacho issued a message. He asked US government to restore supply of aid. Aid supply is suspended to Tigray because of aid theft. He said, Tigray has concluded investigation into aid theft allegations. Results will be made public soon. Let's see. But he's asking uh, US to restore supply of aid to Tigray. Secondly, he mentioned the need uh, for immediate return of IDPs. Again, a very thorny issue. Return of IDPs to Volkai, uh, Tamara, Sagade, Raya. Uh, difficult issue to handle because just yesterday we saw big protests in Volkai uh, opposing return of uh, Tigrayan IDPs to the area. Thirdly, mentioned the withdrawal of Eritrean army, need for withdrawal of Eritrean army from Tigray territories, and uh, he uh, talked about general uh, implementation of Pretoria deal that it is going on to the plan. He did not say a word about uh, accountability for war crimes, investigations into human rights abuse which happened in Tigray. Do not say a word about TPLF that if it should be restored as uh, a party. He mentioned just these three issues. Eritrean presence on Tigray soil, return of IDPs and investigation into aid theft. Other issues were not mentioned by Gatacho. Can we say he did not raise other issues with uh, Mike Hammett? Because TPLF is trying to contact uh, African Union, US, that these mediators should put pressure upon Ethiopian government. Government is violating Pretoria deal. Government, uh, government's uh, NABE, National Action Board of Ethiopia, uh, refused to restore TPLF as uh, a, a, a political party. So, TPLF is hoping that US African Union would play a role, but no mention by Gaitacho in his message. Maybe at the meeting he discussed the issues with Mike Hammer. Lastly, viewers, Mustafa Omar is defending Prosperity Party government, defending PM Abe's government. Muslims, uh, eight Muslims killed in uh, Addis Ababa in the last 10 days or so on two consecutive Fridays. The security forces opened fire at Muslim protesters around Anbar Mosque in Markato area. Uh, Muslim youth were protesting against uh, demolition of mosques in Shagar city. Uh, but security forces refused to allow the protest. They opened fire. Eight killed, dozens injured and now Muslims are being uh, chased. Their houses being raided. They are being arrested in large number. Most former Muslim from Somali region, Somali region president, 
he defended PM Abhi's government today. He said, in the entire history of Ethiopia, it is uh, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, PM Abhi's government, which has given the most freedom of religion to Muslims, which has given political rights to Muslims. That is why government should be appreciated. He did not condemn what happened in Addis Ababa. He just offered condolences to the families of uh, those who were killed in the last 10 days uh, uh, by security forces in Addis Ababa. So he is a Muslim, but he is standing with his party, with the government, not with Muslim community. So while Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia and others are condemning the violence on Muslims, deaths of Muslims in Addis Ababa, was former a Muslim himself is claiming that uh, Ethiopian government is the most favorable government for, for Muslims in entire Ethiopian history. Perhaps he is more religious than the Pope, more loyal than the king, more patriot uh, than uh, the emperor. That is what seems to be the case with most former. I think for much.